you're well uh, you're coming aboard now karibu sana today happens to be the first day of april and we wish you a happy new month let me go straight to introducing the guests that we have in studio for uh, with so far and we're joined by embro sweda who is a lawyer Thank you for okay. joining us bright and early. We are also joined by Honorable Geoffrey Kingangi, who's a member of parliament from Bere. Thank you for joining us, sir. And we'll Thank go you. straight into the dailies and we'll start off with a standard where the headline is depression, Kenya's new health disaster. And according to a report by the WHO, Kenya is ranked at number six most depressed uh, people in Africa, which is obviously quite worrying. Now, according to psychologists, this could be the very reason why we have had quite a number of suicidal um, suicides and also um, and the rise in uh, people basically killing their relatives and all sorts of things. Whether uh, do you agree with the report that Kenya is becoming a more depressed country by the day? I think... Uh, <laughs> The word depression is basically, in ordinary terms, is madness. You're mad. You are malfunctioned to the extent that you are now out. So um, I think the circumstances, the um, negative energy in the, in the atmosphere, the loss of hope, tilts most of us to depression. Mm -hmm. So it is, it, it is widespread. And, 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 and this frustration comes because the... Um, our country, the desire to look for money is so deep and people get so frustrated that this depression sets in. But if you look at it across, when you see people who resort to some other help, some other help like um, alcohol, drugs, or religion, it is a way of escaping from the reality and when you escape from reality either you want something to soothe yourself so that uh, you escape from it uh, or, or you want a, a, a way that you can get false hope all this the result is depression is depression yes and and could part of it be the fact that mental health is not something that is largely discussed and there's a taboo and uh what i'd call stigma that goes with it you just mentioned that being depressed could be looked at as madness and maybe that's why many people would not seek help because they feel like they would be judged on being mad whereas maybe they're not mad per se yeah i, I think we are depressed each, uh, to a degree, each one of us. The problem comes when, when you are permanently depressed. And How do you get permanently depressed? A depressing, you get yourself into a depressing situation and you stay there. For instance, you have met, you'll meet people outside. Somebody's out looking for a job. He does not know where he's looking for it, but he will always tell you, there are no jobs in Kenya. I came from the university, there's no job. There's no job, and it is frustrating. That frustration, you get deeper into it and say, there's nothing I can do. Now nah, I'm old, I'm 40-something, I can't get a job. So you are in it. And that is why now when you look at the, 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 the manual by the maker of the human being, he says that he left three things, love, faith, and hope. Faith means you believe, and then hope means you believe in the goodness of things, the possibilities. So we are depressed at various stages. At various stages. You see a lot of, uh, for instance, a lot of negativity that we see. Uh, we consume every day. Some people consume it, they believe it, and they live in it. And that is how there is lapse into moon hard madness. All right. Uh, Honorable Kingangi, are you concerned at the rate at which Kenya seems to be presenting uh, mental illness and in this case depression? Yes, I'm concerned. And um, just to support uh, what my friend is saying, apart from, I mean, this country has picked up and uh, things are moving very fast and people are struggling to keep up. Uh, but apart from that, there is technology. Now there is Facebook, there is uh, uh, Twitter, social media, Instagram, there's all sorts. And the, the families now no longer talking to each other, friends are not talking to each other, people are interacting with strangers all over the place. So in that you formed your own small world and you really isolated from the real people. 
So you're dealing with uh, real uh, artificial things. And uh, that kind of situation now you find, because you're isolated, you don't even know how to air your problems. And I think this is contributing to, um, to, to this depression. And I'm concerned. Okay. And I uh, think part of, part of it actually even the political class are creating because also we hype things, we talk about a lot of things, so uh, people feel anxious that the world is coming to an end. When sometimes uh, the politician is just seeking to win a seat, but he portrays as if the matter of life and death. Life and, death. <laughs> and they have to deal with this, and they're disconnected from their friends and family. And this really contributes to, to this depression. So it is something that we have to really address. Okay. Uh, Weda, one of the things that possibly <coughs> we may need to address as a country is just our social fabric, yes. uh, which has con uh, continued to change, of course, with development. And like Moshimiwa says, social media has obviously got a place it plays. Uh, gone are the days when... Or fast going are the days when families would sit together and interact and talk mm. and this would be an opportunity for people to even air out their issues and maybe even detect that somebody might be going through an issue but with social media you never quite tell and of course um you know we live in an age where people post pictures with smiles everybody else out mm -hmm. there looks very happy Absolutely. whereas inside you feel like you're the only one who may be who's going through issues yes you will always see that uh, people have to comment over negative things Mm. If I say today, Ketonga looked, uh, you, did you see his suit? Nice. They don't even like it. On the, on the, on the, but when I say uh, it, it was Metumba suit, they want to dissect it. <laughs> As a person thinks it is hard, so is it the heart is inclined to negativity. But when you want to look at a solution, you look at the beginning. You re means you go back. When you go back, you'll find that the human being's hierarchy of needs is number one, water. Number two, food. Then you go to shelter, then you go to security. And our every action is desired and calculated towards self-preservation. And you preserve yourself <coughs> Uh, if you're able to access water, if you're able to access food, if you're able to access shelter, 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 and so on. Now, that is why we scramble for money, because it is money through which you are able to access some of these needs. Inability to access money so that you satisfy your needs becomes the basis of depression. Now, some people have the idea, others don't. So what they generally do is people then close themselves. So how do I close myself? I can close myself on my Facebook. I can close myself on my beer. I can close myself on my negative thoughts. I can close myself on music. Or even and so, religion. Even religion. religion. Belief, and you have seen how religion um, uh, ha punishes people. You have seen people carrying very big crosses. Some people removing their teeth, others cleaning the road. That's religion for you. It is in the heart. It is not physical. Your heart has been the heart. It is the software inside the hardware. Once you get that material into your software, into your heart, then as a man thinks in the heart. So, so, I, so you will find that now everybody is closed into his own world. I go home and... Uh, Look at Facebook, look at religion, sing, uh, sing. Why? Because it gives me temporary satisfaction okay. or right. escape. Well, it's an article that I'm sure many of us would want to read. It's in the standard depression.